Welcome back to Vampire Survivors and today we'll limit break Firachi. It's early in the morning because I know this will take a very long time. So settle in, get ready and let me explain my thoughts. So Firachi is one of the most powerful weapons in this entire game. However, especially on inverse mode where the enemies are way stronger than normal. It, it takes quite a while to get going. Okay, because the biggest issue is you have an inner circle yes sure why not you have an inner circle that is uncovered once you have it evolved meaning you need a bunch of amount to make up for that and the main benefit on this map here is you have all of the arcana at 11 minutes because you can get one on the map and that means you can go crazy really early if you enjoyed the video then please consider subscribing and giving the video a like so we can hit our goal of 1000 subscribers this year and you know what's even better this map actually gives a bunch of experience that means it's better than ever before not only do we get our arcana way earlier like all the arcana that we want but everything is better than ever before and the map has everything that we need like we have experience we have even the batch here we get bonus revivals out of that which trends Translates to weapon amount and weapon damage not just amount okay amount would be good but weapon damage that is insane every single revival gives plus 10% damage which if you consider what the character does we have infinite might growth is not that much however early on it will help to deal with the enemies but this also means whenever I end up dying I will just reset and this is why I say this will this will take a very long time okay because if I don't get a chicken very soon <laughs> wish the game there we go thank you yeah if I wouldn't have gotten the chicken there, I would have needed to restart. And there's the boss, by the way. So if we kill him, we'll get a chest. And with this chest, we can evolve. I'll just pick up Tiragisu here because we'll need it in a moment. Uh, for now, can I maybe get um, can, can I maybe get another chicken? You know, it's, it's not it's not pressing or anything. I, I'm not dying. <laughs> you are dying. <laughs> Help! Help! Oh no! Um, okay, and the other thing is, you may have noticed, the enemies are incredibly fast, okay? So what can happen is, once we have Firachi, which we can have now already, and there's a chest, look at this. Um, it, it, we have to be so careful to not die. Okay, so Empty Tome, we need to max it out. I'll do that in a moment for now. Let's just get the evolution, okay? The first run is just meant to be, I'll do everything as early as possible. Like, we'll immediately get the Arcana, and then we'll see, okay, does this work, or does this not work? Like, what do we we have to change okay there we have empty tome very good it's maxed out negative 85 percent that is huge um what do i do now do i immediately go for the arcana and then we go for a size arcana i think we do that but i want to have the duplicator first now in the future what we can change if this fails because the guardians just overrun and kill me and boy oh boy this weapon is not good at dealing with guardians so i'm really concerned with that then we will just go down for the batch there uh, that sounds good. Oh, I need to get the experience here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, run up, run up. It should be here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, I don't see it. This is not good. Oh, this is really bad. Oh, no, it was here. There's the red gem. Do you see that? Okay, that's fine. Uh, the thing is, we need six items, you know. <laughs> okay, let's wait one more cycle. Yes, it's a little bit delayed. I'll go down to the, the vacuum over there. The duplicator will help a lot, but I definitely want to have all the experience first. Maybe even get to limit break, have one or two amount added to us. It could be that we can't deal with the guardians, because with curse, they'll just overrun and kill me. And we'll have to delay this entire thing until we get to a point where we can deal with them but there we go duplicator yes sure then we have can labrador okay can labrador uh taruna is missing by the way so yeah there we go perfect we do have the crown on the floor but we don't really care about it and i would say let's just go over let's see what happens am i willing to lose revivals just to make this work um i i don't really want to i'll be honest so okay we are really close. There's also armor. Armor is helpful, to be honest. So let me just grab that quickly. There we go. You can see the damage numbers already, though. Like, this weapon is super powerful. And especially once you get a mount going, it's bonkers. It's crazy. But, uh, yeah, you have to get there, is the thing. And one thing you need to know is, the weapon is very slow, as you can see. But it gets going with character projectile speed. Very important. Like, it has ho a lower weapon scaling. So if you get speed on the weapon, it barely changes changes it however with character speed it goes bonkers Yo, the hands are already there wait the hands are not really fast did you see that 
they didn't get very far. That means, maybe... Okay, wait, what? We are at limit break. Okay, Pierce, very good, very helpful. Pierce, not so helpful anymore. I mean, kind of still. Uh, Pierce... <laughs> Stop that. Uh, the, yeah, speed and area is really good because all we need to do is we have to constantly hit the guardians. So I don't care about damage all too much right now, but I really, really, really care about amount. You know, imagine, imagine, why is there so much experience in there? Imagine, <laughs> imagine. Um, is there even a mount still for Ferrachi? Did they remove that? Oh my god, it is there. I was just really unlucky. Okay. Uh, amount. Okay, we got plus two. Um, why am I leveling up so much? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> we got plus three amount. Okay. Um, I have a feeling. So there's a bug in a new engine where the red gem will just fly past you, even with a magnet, or, or only with a magnet, actually. And I think that happened. Oh, really? Okay, it's not the worst thing ever to lose this. I was just blinded by the damage numbers. Yeah, it's not the worst thing ever to lose this, because yes, we do lose a little bit of damage. Boogalooflusions! But it doesn't matter all too much to us, believe it or not. So, because, you know, there are another three revivals on the stage and plus two projectiles, so it won't matter that that much. Like, it's not great, it's 10% damage loss, but uh, uh, we, we still have two revivals left. So uh, all we lost is 10% damage of plus 30% damage and one beam. Okay, so you are really thick right now, that's good. And I have to be very careful what we do now when Curse is active. Let's see, how are we doing? Oh, I would say we can actually even deal with Curse. Oh, look at that. Wow, it's insane. Oh, wow. Okay, let's go to the batch, I guess. Because that means we covered the entire map already. Um, what you don't want to do is you don't want to move too fast. Because, yeah, exactly this happens. The Guardians teleport. I'll quickly move in here. There we have the batch. I'll quickly move out. Go to the left. No, go to the right. There is the crown. Over there is a vacuum. That's why I wanted to go there. But it's fine. We don't need it right now. I'll do it otherwise. With the buckets, either way better if I manually collect all the stuff. Okay, don't let the Guardians teleport right now. This would be deadly. Academy badge. One more projectile. Very good. Okay, slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Oh, oh don't, don't slowly. Don't slowly me. Oh, nine. Nine, nine. That's a big one. Uh, it's okay. Let's go for the academy batch, I guess. No, th this is fine. This is fine. Because at least we can max out a majority of the things. Do we... Do you see how many beams we just got? Um, okay. So speed. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That may actually end up killing them. L look at the amount of damage numbers we have there. Oh, yeah. Now I got a magnet. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. And area. There was still a bunch in there. It's going very well, though. Like, you can say whatever you want. This is one of the easiest limit breaks we had. And I actually expected a torture here. Yeah, look at that. First one is dead. Okay, the second one is dead. That means the other two should fall any moment. Yep. <laughs> Doesn't this look beautiful? They changed the, the Firachi. Do you see that? There are multiple beams on top. So usually there's one beam that is on the very top and then the other beams are below that. All of them. But this one is on top. This one is on top. This one is on... Every second beam is on top. Oh, that looks so beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to see what this looks like with even more amount, right? Yeah, so we do have Toruna, that means I don't need to get the stage 1. We'll use random always, we hope it doesn't blink. Please don't blink. They removed the blinking from the weapon! It used to blink when you had mass level ups, like per level up, the, the, the animation of the weapon would disappear, and now it's still there. That means just look into my hole here and get hypnotized. <laughs> uh, oh no, I'm looking too much into the hole, that's not good. I can't look away anymore. Dex, Dex, look away. You need to play. Okay. Oh, that is um, that that is that is a seriously good-looking hole. I gotta say, that's one of the best-looking holes I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> hey, listen, it's pulsating. You don't have many pulsating holes around. Okay. Jeez. Okay. Um, that was blinking. That was blinking, but only for a moment. I think when you get maybe a mount and it blinks, that means it's limited because you only get 20 amounts on weapon. Now look at this, we have 302% might. That means in 600 level ups, because the character gains 1% might per level up, we reach the maximum more than 900%, doesn't have an effect in the game. So that means uh, we will be quite powerful. Uh, yeah, 
Look at the kill number there. Did you see that? <laughs> we are very powerful. <laughs> Do you think the one revival matters? I don't think so. Okay, there we go. Please no blinking. Please no blinking. Please no blinking. This is beautiful. They changed it. It's so much... Okay, but li listen. Where are my level ups? We have leveled up way much more before than what we are doing right now. Like, this is a little bit of a meme. I have a feeling these magnets, they just don't really work anymore. So maybe what I'll do is, I will always manually pick up the experience, which kind of sucks because that destroys the point of magnets. But I don't know what happens. Let's just take a look when I manually pick it up, how much experience I'll get, okay? There's a 25% chance where the magnet is. There was just experience flying away, I saw that. Uh, there's a 25% chance for the where the red gem is. There, there, there. Do you see it? Um... That was like 32 level ups. I would no, that's that's actually normal. There's another red gem, but that was just created. Yeah. Oh, let's get you. Man, this looks beautiful. Okay, like, do you see that? You have this beam on top. You have this beam on top. Like, they changed it. It looks so much better. Okay, huge respect. I'll be honest, the pattern before was quite annoying. Not annoying, it was boring. This one beam sticking out and all the others coming out of it. This pattern here is just straight up beautiful. Oh my god, like not only will we play the best version you can possibly play on this weapon, because on this map you get the other arcana, but also all the amazing things that are on the floor, um, but like, it seems to look the best, like, ever? Right? Th that is amazing! Do we just go for the, the steps? I, th I think we do, right? The, the, the pressure blade? Yeah, let's do that. Um, I think I'll trigger here something by accident. No? Oh, we dodged it somehow. There's like a trigger blade where the vacuum was. Let's just go to the top. There's also vacuum up there, so it doesn't matter that we walk away from the bottom. That is fine. Okay, sure, let's do that. And I think I'll wait for experience. There's a very high chance it's to the bottom because it accumulates in the furthest away gem from us at a certain border. Do you see red gem? I don't. Really? Oh, yeah. No, that, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. That was a freshly generated one. Now, the issue is, when it's not at the bottom, it's at the top. And you may see, slightly, there, there's like experience gems on the floor, right? I don't really want to walk into them. Oh, wow. Yeah, because that could happen. Oh, okay. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I think what I can do is, I will already scout for the red gem now, right? Okay, let's scout now. I don't see it. Oh, there it is, there it is, do you see it? Okay, perfect, perfect. Because now we can walk and even if we pick a new one up, it won't matter all too much. Good. Uh, it feels good to cover the entire map in my weapon. Where am I? Oh, wow. I think here's the pre the pressure blade. No, it's to my left here. This is the, the initial uh, vacuum that we see in the very beginning. Yeah, look at that. Boop. Okay, now the enemies move normally 10 minutes in. That is insane. What do we go for as the final arcana? And man, look at the beams again. This is amazing. This looks randomized, I love that. The final arcana, so we can go for the projectile speed arcana. Purpose being, it rotates faster and because the hits are limited per enemy, like it has an internal cooldown, it may make sense to rotate faster to hit the enemies faster. Alternatives are Awaken, okay? Because minute 28 is still incredibly strong, so I think we may be able to deal with them, but I don't know if we can, and getting plus one armor per uh, revival that we have is insane, right? We have four revivals, I have armor banished. Oh no, that means I'm just losing four armor for nothing. Oh, but we would also get 10% HP, but that's not a lot either. Oh, but I could get the, the arrow to get even more HP. Do we just say F it, we'll go for pure damage, we'll just go projectile speed and have this thing rotate around like crazy? Because even right now, with maxed out projectile speed, it doesn't rotate as fast, right? Like, it's, it's still quite slow. Uh, the beams end. I didn't know they do. I thought they go out a lot further. Okay. Always be careful, though. There is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Do doctor's precision. <laughs> Why do you want to become a doctor? <laughs> well, you see, he was afraid, and there was a vacuum, and now watch this. Oh my god, we have to take you. You're a neuroscientologist. Wait, no, that's something different. That's that's something bad. Neuroscientologist. No. Do a doctor that puts stuff into the brain, okay? I thought that happens with people that have uh, groundbreaking technologies that would save a lot of money, right? 
They get stuff put into their brain and taken out. Yeah, yeah. We could have such a beautiful world if everything wasn't focused on money. Oh, a different topic. So yeah, there it is. Chaos in the Dark. Let's just... I mean, isn't that a fitting name? We are playing on the dark stage. Hello? It's the... 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 what is it called? Dark Abyss, right? Or something like that? With the, the chaos in the dark? We are the chaos in the dark. Look at this. Where's my red gem, though? So... Something weird in this game, when something is above you, you don't see it. Like, do you see there's nothing here? But below us, we can see the gems. So one very efficient way is you always move downwards, and that's how you try to find the red gem. Um, do you see how they get uncovered when I move up? So that works, however... The, the map doesn't continue forever, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> that only works a limited amount of times. There's also a vacuum up there. Okay. Oh, uh, huh? That's not supposed to happen. That's that's actually really not supposed to happen. That should be covered. That's great. I love that. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, G guys, calm down. Those are just death animations. Because we have damage numbers turned on, keep that in mind. Totally fine. They are just dying. That's like the last dying fart, you know? It's like, do you know about that? That like when someone dies, they just they just fart? Or they, they shit themselves? It's like the, the best way to go out. <laughs> like, I shit on you guys. <laughs> Because it's a muscle, you know, and the muscle relaxes. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to find the final vacuum. There we go. I'm, 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 it's just a little bit awkward after this topic. I told you, I just woke up. I didn't expect that we do this first try, okay? Like, I thought this would take the entire day and I will record Holocure later on. So I was like, okay, you gotta get going early that you can make both videos because I'm really excited to continue Holocure, you know, to get what the hell is going on with my level ups. Huh. Oh. Oh yeah, I see now. Yeah, that, um, that makes sense. There is a vacuum. Why do we not see it? I have a feeling it's right next to me. Look at this. I'm literally touching its butt. So there's a risk that it's somehow not drawn on top of the beams like all the other things were. And that could kill me. Also, did you notice that this circle here is really tiny compared to the past? Like, it used to be really far out. Like, let's say here, maybe? You know, and that's my initial problem. I talk. Oh no, I know where it is. Alter, lauf doch durch, du Schnudel! What is that? What is a Schnudel? I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to say a bad word and then I wanted to change it to Nudel. <laughs> Schnudel. Oh, I'll take it out of Schnudel, baby. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. The, 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 oh. It's like people sometimes ask me, like, like why, why, why do you talk German when you get mad? Listen, it's the main language that I'm used to, okay? So when I get really mad, it's just my brain auto reverts back to German. Also, if you ever listen to German, it's like the best language to be mad in. Uh, it's like, ah, du verdammte Schnitzel, ich reiß dir den Arsch auf. Do you, do you hear that? It's perfection, you know, and German is known as the language of poetry. That was poetry. And nice. <laughs> what the hell is this beam size? <laughs> Wait, this is one beam. Look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, no, washing machine. Oh, my God. I'm getting... Oh, my God. Okay, I'm getting... Um, oh, close your eyes, thanks. Uh, as I said, I just woke up. This is not good for my stomach. Okay, there we go. So, we're closing in on 300k kills. Uh, do you think we'll actually manage to kill the 28-minute wave? We are stupidly insane, like all the enemies you see so far walking in that look like a concern, they are already dead. There are no damage numbers, this is just a death animation. The, the damage numbers are outside here. Um... Huh. But the minute 8... Okay, minute 28, the biggest problem is not that we can't deal with them, like we can, with an infinite amount of time and space. I mean, okay, that's such a stupid statement. What I mean is, <laughs> what I want to say is, the real problem with them is they are super tanky, and they push each other into us. Like, they get spawned, and then they're like, oh, I bump you away, and then they bump each other into me. So even though we slow down the enemies like stupid because of the amount of hits that we do per second, they just move each other into us, which goes around that. You know, so that's the real problem. That's what I mean with infinite amount of time and space. Oh, and by the way, before you question whether or not we'll hit the uh, projectile speed cap, that one is at 400%. So, yeah, that, that will happen very soon. Like, we almost have that. We almost have this. Um, speed and duration are kept at 400% on top of the base value, so in total 500%. And might and area are kept at 900%, so uh, at a total of 1000%, because you put this on top of the base. We, I think, will also max out area. Is this a joke? And do you see how big the beams are? Like, you can see a beam to the front, and then 
a beam to the side and a beam to the right side. Wait, are you telling me there's like there's like a, a long beam to the top and then like like a ball to the left and the right? And then something weird is sticking out to the bottom. What is with this one? You don't fit in there. <laughs> the rest I understood, you know. I got the reference. But, uh, yeah, you might want to check that out. It's like a splinter or something. Yeah, I don't imagine that. No, a wooden splinter stuck in there. Yeah, not in the balls, mate. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you not understand the mood differences that I always have? <laughs> it's like depending on the time of day when I record. When I just woke up, I'm pretty much sleep drunk, you know, and I talk a lot of BS. The later it gets into the day, the more mature I become until it gets really late into the day. Because then my brain goes into monkey mode. And monkey mode is not good. Monkey mode is Dex doing a lot of really stupid things just for entertainment, for my personal entertainment. Um, so yeah, like, you always know when I recorded a video based on how I talk and what I do. Uh, there we go, 731 to... Three level ups. Does this wave just not give any experience? They do, but not a lot, do you see that? There's barely experience on the floor. Maybe the problem is... Yeah, there's not a lot. Like, you would expect way more. Is that a problem? They suck. They suck. Why would you ever do that? Okay, so we ignore this magnet now, because I think the, the enemies just give no experience at all. They seem to have a low chance to drop experience, but somehow they drop green ones and blue ones. Huh? That doesn't make sense. So blue ones can combine up to green ones, but then you wouldn't see any any gems behind them. And it, it's like that would that is so unlikely. Okay, we are 18 minutes in. Now there's a new wave. Now we should get a huge amount of experience again, and I'll pick up the vacuum then. I'll be honest, I'm I'm completely astonished and amazed about the weapon right now because this is by far the best state it has ever. I saw you flying away there, Mr. Red Gem. Don't think you get away. Uh, did you see that? Did you see that flying away? You dingus! You dingus! Um, no, but it's by far the best state it has ever been in. And that means a lot, because if you watch the old limit breaks of the Ferracci, and I've done a lot, we even did a Dar Ferracci, you know, where I turned it red to make it look a little bit more appealing. Um, and, like, it's one of my favorite weapons, because it's so insanely, ridiculously powerful, and this is by far the most well done state it has ever been in and that means a lot because it was already incredibly good right but now all the issues are fixed and i think with the new map it's better than ever before because you can start scaling everything earlier than ever before and the earlier you scale the faster this number starts going to the max and uh do you see that we we, we reached maximilian okay <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means. So with magnets, you have to be careful. We are not allowed to move after picking up. No, it, well, so this should work, right? Like if I do this, then the red gem should fly on top of There's somewhere red gem. I don't see something bouncing around. Okay, this won't work. Yeah, we are not allowed to move after we pick up a magnet because apparently the red gem will target the location where you pick up the magnet from. So if you move away, it will just move away itself. Should we just do it for funsies with this magnet to test it out if that's true? I was told that and I do believe the person because it does look like it. So what do we do? Oh, we don't need more luck though. Look at all the freezes on the floor. Um, okay. Neuro Neuroscientologist Precision Dex. Shit! <laughs> yeah, well, he died, can't change it. Okay, let's move over. No. Well, okay, when did I pick up the red gem? Oh, I'm stupid, I just walked away. I need to pick it up and then I need to walk away, Dex. It's not hard to understand, okay? Ne next time, next time I'll do it. So pretty much what we expect to happen is that I barely get any level ups, okay? That way we see if it worked or not, because I don't think we'll see the red gem flying by. It would need to fly by in our small little circle here. Um, 440,000 kills, Did, when we just hit 400k? How many kills will we have? Man, my dream is that one day I will have a weapon. Oh shit. Uh, okay, collect, run away. No, oh, did you see that? The red gem was here. There. The, this... Uh, that's not really on top of the magnet, but like, yeah, I think we still collected it because it was in the pickup range, if I'm not mistaken, maybe. Um, but it could, huh, interesting, inter oh, I should have went for more curse, shouldn't I? We, we can easily afford more curse. That means I will waste a lot of experience here, 
Sh should we do it though? It's worth it, right? It's a little bit late. Oh, the candy box. Yeah, we don't care. Everything that we could take here just makes us worse. <laughs> like, you can't kill the enemies faster than instant. Okay, so we have to go down there. Then I'll pick up the Skullomaniac. Then we'll walk over to Toruna. Then we get 100% bonus curse out of that. There's a magnet. Let's really quickly get that. There are the red gems. Very good. Oh, there we go. Already got it. Why are there so many Skullomaniacs on the stage? Do you see that? There are three, four more. Huh? Well, that's a thing. That many? Yeah, come, klar, I picked up the... Oh man, now they are gone. I had to pick up the one experience thing that had enough levels to max it out. Uh, it's okay. It, it... Oh yeah. Right. Right. Do you know what? Oh, do I need... I, do, I don't need more HP and healing, I don't care. Yeah, we don't need that. Oh, I picked up another big red gem. Whenever you see us getting more than one level, it was the biggie. Because the smallies, they don't do anything anymore, because we have so much experience. That was a decently sized one. More like medium, I would say, yeah. Okay, 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 why? <laughs> we kill the enemy so fast that we get so many of them. Okay, so we have to walk up to the top here. The mo Where am I? Uh, stone mask, what? Uh... We have to go in here, and now we will see damage numbers to the left somewhere. We won't. Why didn't we even see damage numbers? Because they all died way before that. Look at this, they try to spawn so many, but it doesn't work. Their hands will survive for a very long time, though. The hands are my main concern. Where are the hands? Oh, they just die. They are also just dying. Why is, why is everything dying? Why are you not dying? Yo, what, <laughs> what is with you? <laughs> huh? What kind of invulnerability thing have you going on there? No, that, that is an unbreakable. Usually they're called breakables, but that is an unbreakable. I'm really scared with the guardians. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll quickly rush in. Do we? Huh? Oh. Uh. Hey, they don't even spawn. Did we? Did? Huh? Like, like, some spawn, but that was it. Where are they? Oh, we walk through walls now, great. Um, okay, there's there's some experience. Uh, that was not a biggie, though. There's a biggie! Oh, I see it, I see it. No, it wasn't a biggie. Okay. So the thing is, we seem to kill the guardians way faster. Oh, I picked it up too late, right? Yeah. Um, that may have been in time, actually. So, how do we make them spawn here? That works, right? Are we actually getting... Any of them? I don't know. I think their spawn frequency got heavily reduced, right? Are there any balls? Oh wow, that's a lot of balls. Oh, that's a lot of balls. Um, oh, I understand. So we kill the enemy so fast that they don't even get to move in. Not even with curse. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, we got a gem. Nice, very good. That's my main concern. Um, that, that's a lot of balls in one spot. Nine, Dex, nine. We have to move to... Okay, do we do balls? To, no, let's not do it today. I'll just pick them up. That was nice. Okay, they, I think they fixed it when you pick up too much at once. Let's not focus on them today, okay? We did this in the Crimson Shroud video like crazy. So I'll move away in a moment. I'll just wait for the, the vacuum right now. And we go up to Genevieve, the boss on the stage. But do you see now why the weapon is so crazy? I think you have seen me do a lot of videos on the stage here and I talked about my main concerns and the issues in your, you know, and the things that can go wrong. And this weapon is like, meh, I don't care. I don't care. I mean, you can't even break a uh, breakable. <laughs> Aside from that, I don't care. <laughs> Just kill everything. Even the pots here. Oh, wow. Are the pots the major enemy here? Why can we not destroy them? Hmm. Um, how do we get out? It looks like here. Very good. Yeah, let me guess. That's a big red gem. Oh my god, the pots are annoying. Yeah. <laughs> do you see that? That's what I mean with like at 28 minutes, the enemies are pushing each other. These guys don't move. Okay, it looks like it, but these guys actually don't move. It's just others pushing them into me. Do you see how we spam kill the hands? Huh? You know how strong they are. How much damage do we deal per beam? 328, I think. Right? Let me let me let me try to pause on these. No, there's no way we deal 3,000. Nah, that's bullshit. 
3301 3308 We deal the three <laughs> What? Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's my um, okay, uh, I may sound weird because I don't think you understand. This weapon attacks per beam 10 times a second. Okay, 10 times a second. That means per beam per second we deal 33,000 damage and we have uh, 20 plus 6 plus, yeah, that's the total, 26 beams. So 33,000 times uh, 26, that's 66, 660,000 damage and then 6 times 33, that's roughly 200k, 850,000 damage roughly, I think per second, if I, it was quick math in head, okay, that's probably wrong, but like, um, huh, per enemy, per, per enemy, per, per enemy. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, that per enemy is also not true, but... Oh, there, there was the boss, did you see him? <laughs> because if you didn't look out for him, <laughs> you didn't see a lot. Um, are you... are you... okay? <laughs> like, with all the crazy weapons in this game, and then you're like, yeah, well, I mean... Uh, <laughs> look at this old weapon, yeah. Um, Non-DLC weapon wasn't even late released, right? Like Pugnala was. Uh, it was released with what is her name? No, I think with Gallo Tower. Pugnala was. My experience. What did you do? What did you do of my experience? Do you know how long I didn't pick up experience? You cheated me out of my exp. Not again. We'll pick up this magnet if I don't get like 100 level ups. I will. I will. Mm, I will say something evil. Okay, I'll be mad in German. <laughs> That's the biggest threat, okay? The last time someone was mad in German. Yeah, World War II, just saying. Punker, just saying. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, 28 minutes. Oh, uh, okay. Stand still. Okay. So we are like... Is this a joke? Is this a mean joke? Are you just trying to make me upset? Are you just trying to dare me? I'll, I'll become an art student, okay, and I'll fail it intentionally, and we'll see what you have from that. Okay, so we are still killing all the enemies like stupid, okay, and there's so much experience on the floor. Do we just not use the vacuum anymore? But then I have to gamble where the experience is, which is not good. I think I will pick up this vacuum here as a final attempt to get the old experience in. If that also fails, I'll just, I'll just walk, okay? I'll do it manually, hopefully at least. 29 minutes is about to happen, okay, but like we have 600,000 kills. I, I don't think this will fail. Okay, that's a bunch of level ups though. Uh, yep, the game is getting really laggy. You know what? I will just uh, turn off the damage numbers. Yep, that should help a lot. It didn't help at all. Hmm, do you think this has something to do with each beam attacking 10 times a second? No, I don't. Okay. Keep in mind those are just the death animations. All is good. We are doing fine. I'm still leveling up. Okay, um, huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when we are like 1050 or 1150. I don't quite remember it, but there's a good chance we'll never stop leveling up until the end of the game, okay? Until the Reaper has killed us. But, I will try to freeze him, then we can keep going as long as possible. There's another magnet. Let's get this. Okay, okay. I don't even know if I've got the experience really, because again, it, it flies away like stupid. Oh, but I want to see the damage numbers that we deal, right? Yeah. So every single level up is a bonus damage of 0.5 multiplied with our might, so it's 1000, so times 10. That is a lot. That's 5 bonus damage every single time we level up. That explains the high number, the ridiculously high number. So I would say, do I do it now? Ah, we can do it on the Reaper, right? That's a lot easier, yeah. Okay, there we go. You just walk through that? You cheater. Uh, uh, that was bad, that was bad. Wait, no, he doesn't really walk through that. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, uh, can, can, can you see the damage, by the way? Jesus, I... What? It's it's impossible to see that. Huh? Uh, okay, I need, I need a vacuum. I need a vacuum. Uh, not a vacuum, a freeze. Oh, re... <laughs> <laughs> the chicken is just like, nope, I'm out, dude. You, you've challenged the Reaper. Nope, nope, do it yourself. There we go. Okay. 
Mm, I think it's a six in the beginning. So we have something like 6,000 whatever rest. Yeah, that's very good to know. Let's get this freeze here. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was really close. Uh, how long do you think can I continue with this? Um, but I need to use my brain. Now the freeze. Okay. And now we'll pick up this. Uh, I need another freeze though. There we go. Oh, it's about to end. It's about to end. There we go. Very good. Very good. Let's pick this also. Just in case there's more experience down. No, if the gem flies away at this point, there's no way to get it back, right? Yeah. Ah, free stacks. Yeah. Um... That was our final revival. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, 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 Wow, I said that was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. Look at these numbers. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> that was it. That is, um, yeah, I would say this is the most insane weapon I think we've ever had here. So if you enjoyed it, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.